frogging the whips from my whip basket um, that I decided not to keep going with. So I've already frogged or rewound the end of the skein and this was the um, my framework bralette. And so now I'm going to frog it directly from <laughs> the garment onto the ball winder. Now, if I wanna reuse this yarn, I am going to have to reskein it at some point um, because when you start pulling it out, you can see the yarn is uh, squiggly um, and that can screw up uh, gauge and things when you re-knit it. Um, so I will eventually have to re-skein it, but this at least keeps it nice and tidy. Uh, and I know that I have it to use for something else because when I redo my framework bralette, uh, I am gonna pick a different yarn. I don't, I don't like this combo. All right, so it has a few knots in it. There were various parts of the bralette that um, you had to cut and rejoin yarn, but now I've got a full skein of this yarn back together for future use. All right, fortunately my mending basket is not um, too full, but I do have a sweater sleeve that needs to be repaired um, that I have been just kind of sitting on for a few months. Um, this is my Monta Rosa cardigan. So I knit this in 2015. So it's had a good run, but the elbow has worn through. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to how I'm going to, to fix it. I haven't quite decided, so you'll be <laughs> joining me for that journey. Uh, the good news is I have the yarn. So I don't have to put in an odd colored patch or anything. I can um, use the original yarn to make my repair, but the truth is I am not great at repairing my knits. So. We'll see. The first thing I'm going to do is, is to go ahead and pull this unraveled stitch back up. Now I find the best way to do this is with a crochet hook. This one is a little, a little big to be honest, but um, that's the size I have. So <laughs> we'll just have to make do. All right, now it's back up at least to the correct spot. You can see the yarn here is really worn thin. Of course, again, this is the elbow. <laughs> so I guess I have pointy elbows and it has worn through. So what I wanna do first is to maybe put a pin in this, or a, you know, a, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to start by putting a removable stitch marker in here. Maybe not through that strand because that looks pretty worn out through the previous one. So I'm going to put a stitch, removable stitch marker so that doesn't unravel again. All right. Now, let's see. Up here, we've got two loose stitches. Over here, this one's also starting to unravel right here. So I think I'm gonna use the original yarn and kind of um, start up here and work down. We'll see how it goes. All right, cutting some of the old worn out yarn out of the way. I'm 
still a bit worried about this, but uh, we are just going to have to see how it goes. That one too. Okay. Mm -hmm. covered up the big gaping hole <laughs> so that's a start now I need to tighten up the stitches work the ends through some of these bits that are falling apart and keep cutting out uh, some of these excess bits of, of yarn all right so one side looks like I've caught all of the stitches that were worn out and broken down. Let's see how we do. Just gonna finish weaving this end in and then I'll use the other end on the other side to sloppily do the same thing because like I said, fixing my knitting is not where my talents lie. <laughs> All right, it <laughs> obviously does not look super great. Um, I really don't have the patience for fixing things, to be honest. Um, so I probably should have uh, looked up the best techniques and taken my time, but I'm happy with this for now. It's going to be wearable. It should look a little nicer after I wash the sleeve and clean it up. Now the other option is to cut it off here and re-knit the rest. I am not sure I have enough yarn for that. Alternately, I could cut it here, cut this part out, knit the in-between, and then kitchener it together. Again, for now, this will do. Um, this is one of my most worn sweaters, but I wear this almost exclusively around the house. It's just a sweater I throw on um, when I'm chilly. It's held up really well. This yarn um, is Dreaming Color, whatever their worsted weight one is, I can never remember. Um, but you can see it's held up really well. I uh, have really not even, maybe once have gleaned this, and yeah, there are some pills, but overall it looks really good. Um, my other elbow is fine. So I don't know if, you know, <laughs> one of my elbows is pointier than the other or what. Um, the other side looks fine. The rest of the sweater looks great. So I'm just going to let, I'm just going to live with this little patch for now. And maybe someday in the future when I have oodles of time, I will consider um, making a more permanent repair by cutting out this damaged section uh, and re-knitting. But this will do for now, and that is the first project I have fixed for Finish, Fix, or Frog, a 2021 journey.